Just not sure how well this is going to work. I still haven't got my microphone working yet. But we're here at the Herring Pond in Port Stewart. And it's not somewhere I've shot before. I'm not just certain of the tide time, so I'm going to have to be very careful here. Because you never know exactly what way. You could set things down and if it was a, an incoming tide, you could end up in a lot of trouble. But the surf is pretty, pretty amazing. As you can see. So we're going to get set up here and we'll, we'll try and get some kind of a shot out of it. Composed here, in a slightly different position overall. Big waves coming in and they're crashing out over the top. It's a, it's a really cool spot. Not sure what shape I'm here, but just trying to catch the right wave at the right time. Splashing out over the top. It's fairly good light still coming in, although we're very we're very close to sunset. We're probably a wee bit too late to get here. But then again, if you come too early, you don't see the light the same, so it's, still, it's always hard to know. But there's a few big sets that already come in, and they're really, really big sort of stuff, you know, and all lots of drama in and around the front of us here. So we're sort of hoping, sort of hoping we probably have the shot already. But we just, as it comes to wave photography, you sort of have to keep shooting and shooting and shooting and trying to different different sort of shutter speeds to different blurs of the water or sharpness of the water. It can be very hard to get the right shot and you can stand for a long time, which I probably will do tonight. But we'll keep on shooting anyway and we'll get back to you with sets in a wee second or two for we're just waiting on the next big set coming. Now, we're shooting at F11. ISO 64 and at the minute now we're back down to 1 15th of a second. Earlier on there, before the sun had actually dropped down below the sort of the horizon, just almost at sunset, so it's not just there yet, but there's, there's mountains and stuff in the background there. The, uh, earlier on we were about 1 30th of a second, so we were able to, to make the, the waves out a wee bit sharper, you know. Now we're sort of getting to the stage where one fifteenth of a second and down lower, you're going to blur some of the water, you're not just going to get it pinched out the way you would do if you had a faster shutter speed. But again, you get this time of night where the light's sort of gone, but you can still see plenty and you're able to slow the shutter speed down without, uh, without any filters or anything like that there. Yeah. I'm not a big filter sort of person anyway. You just have to watch because there's been a few times the waves have swept right up and around my feet here. Bag and stuff set up slightly higher here behind me, so at least that we're not going to get everything soaking. Lots of big waves. I'm not even sure how the vocals doing or how the audio is doing with this camera at the minute. I have a microphone for it, but I can't get it to work. But we'll figure it out as time goes on. Here's more big waves coming now. I'm going to turn your light see. Bag on my back now. I'm just really scared of the, the, all the splashing and the water. I don't want anything to get wet. I would like to go down onto the rocks here, sort of down in, down in sort of this area here, and shoot across because it would leave a, a, a nicer sky in the background, but it's just too dangerous. It's just there's no way. You've got to really be safe. At the minute here, we've got nice railings here in front of us, even the water sweeps up around our feet. We're not going to get ourselves really wet. Well, we're going to get wet, but we're not going to be in any danger from falling in. There's one thing with this type of weather, and bigger weather around the surf, around the sea. You've got to be really careful. Things get swept in there, you go to grab them, and you get swept in there. The photograph's not worth that. The light's gone. I'm freezing. 
definitely with some fantastic waves uh, breaking in them we'll, we'll try slower shutter speeds and faster shutter speeds and I'll flash them all up on the screen for them and you can let, give me an idea in the comments of what you like sometimes it's hard just to walk away the, uh, the clouds are making for a very nice a very nice sort of frame around the photograph and they're along with the shape of the pool of the rocks here from the shape of the pool of the rocks here from and the, the shape of the clouds above sort of makes a nice frame for the photograph and you really, the only thing in this photograph really is that we set a sort of steps or some kind of a contraption maybe for holding or winching in some kind of netting or something for fishing I'm not 100% sure what it's for somebody maybe give me a shout in the comments let me know why it's there or what it's all about but it's a fantastic spot took a few photographs, different exposures, different sort of shutter speeds and different ISOs to change the shutter speed to try and get different blurs in the water things like that there I'm waffling on all my inner listen, hit the wee like button out there it's supposed to give me a great, a great help here with the channel and uh, we'll see you again in the next video listen, thanks for watching cheerio